Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you five things to learn while in quarantine. Number one, to learn how to juggle. So, I'm using some juggling balls here. I will leave a link to these in the description if you want to get some for your own. But you can also just use any three balls that you find of about the same size, or you can use three bean bags. So now, for the first step, what you want to do is drop all but one. And you're just going to practice tossing it from hand to hand, like this. And try to keep it on the same plane. So like right here, you want to keep it on this plane. Or like, because you don't want it to be going back and forth. So practice that. Until you feel comfortable enough to grab the next ball. So now when you have two, what you're going to practice is just going take one in each hand and go right, just practice right, left, catch, catch, right, left, catch, catch, right, left, catch, catch. And make sure the timing is really important on this. You want to go, you want to wait till the first ball that leaves your hand is at the top of its arc before you throw the next one. So right there. So it'll be like, like that, and that'll make it really easy. So now finally, when you're ready, when you've got that two ball juggling down completely, just take two in one hand, preferably your strong hand, and one in the other, and you're going to do the same thing. You go, wait till it reaches its arc, and throw the next one. Okay? And But instead of just going like that, when this one like this one right here gets to the top of its arc, the second ball you throw, that's when you throw the next one. So one, two, three, like so. And you're just gonna keep practicing, just doing groups of three like that, until you're really comfortable with that. And then you can start adding on the numbers. So one, two, three, four, catch. One, two, three, four, five, catch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're best get ready to start juggling. Just keep your feet up. So the next thing you can learn while in quarantine is magic. And you can use this magic and like all kinds of stuff to impress your friends and family. It's it's just a good skill to have. Even if you just learn a couple tricks, it's always good if you have a deck of cards you can perform anytime. So the card trick I'm going to be teaching you is super simple, and all you need is uh, any deck of cards. Doesn't need to be any pre-shuffles. It's an impromptu card trick, and it's super simple to learn. So basically, you have the spectator pick any card they want. Let's say they pick this one, and then so while they're looking at it, uh, so they're looking at the card and. Then you just have them place it right back in the middle of the deck, and where they want, and then it gets pushed in the deck, just like that. And now, say, I bet you I can find exactly where your card is in the deck. When you bring it back out, you go through, and as you see, the only card that's turned over in the deck is their card. So to do that trick, all you need is one simple move. While they're looking at their card, say the five of clubs, uh, you are going to put the deck behind your back and turn over the top card right here. So it looks like this is the top part of the deck, but really it goes this way. And then when they put the card in, face down like this, then the only other card that's turned over is this first one 
So when you put it behind your back, you just turn over this card, and then the trick's done. Then you just go through, and the card is the only one that's turned over. and folks and things like that and I know some of the times these things can be very hard to learn right now I'm trying to learn how to do back handspring but right now I'm going to be showing you a super simple uh, progression thing that helps you learn other flips and looks really cool by itself so this trick is called a makaku or makakao depends how you say it but basically you squat down and then you put your hand back like this so then you're kind of in like a half bridge, or half bridge, both one arm position, like so, okay? And you can do it to either side. I prefer to do it to my left side. And then once you get here, you're basically just gonna, the first step is just to kick with your opposite foot than your hand. So you're, I would kick with my right foot. If you're doing the right-handed, then you kick with your left. So, and you're just gonna kick, and you're gonna kick it, try and kick it over your shoulder. So, like. <laughs> like that. And it's okay if you fall down the first one. And just, pro just as you go, just progressively get higher and higher over your shoulder. So. And try and land on your feet. And then, eventually, you can start not starting from this position. You can start doing it from here, so. And it's a, that's a cool little trick that you can do. And that can help you learn other tricks. So the next trick I'm gonna be teaching you is how to spin a pen on your finger. Here we go. So I actually have a full tutorial on this. I will uh, leave a link to that up above. But uh, just for a quick tutorial, you're gonna take your pointer finger of whichever hand your most your dominant hand. So for me, it's on the right. And you're gonna put it on the end of the pen or pencil. And then you're gonna take your third finger and reach down the side of the pen like this until like about as far as you can reach. Then place your thumb right next to your third finger uh, but above it so closer to your pointer finger so your hand position should look like that then you're going to take your third finger and you're just going to push so like that and it's okay if it falls off but you're trying to get the spin so that when you flick it it goes around your thumb and then you catch it so if you practice that enough, it should look like that. And yeah, so that's it. On to the last one. So the last one is actually how to do YouTube. If you love expressing yourself and making videos and doing crazy things, YouTube is perfect to show other people what you like doing. And there's tons of videos out there that help you to make a successful YouTube channel. And so I think that that's a great way to, and it's a great time to start a YouTube channel right now because you're stuck at home anyway. So uh, what better thing to do than make videos? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more ideas of what to do while stuck at home like this, then don't forget to subscribe.